Heya pasuma pa kope. I'm Dr. Rajwa Ahimanunu. I'm a medical officer currently working at the Seven Military Hospital. And I'm also a health advocate. So what I do is that I use my social media um, pages, um, Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, to educate the public on public health issues. Um, I also use mass media. So I use television and radio to just send my, my um, views across. I go to schools, churches, uh, marketplaces when I'm invited to. Some companies also invite me to give them talks about health-related stuff. Um, I'm a mentor, I'm a philanthropist, um, I do a lot of things, so <laughs> I'm a Christian, I'm a Methodist, um, I'm a daughter and a sister to my family members and to my friends as well. So that's me in a nutshell, that's what I do. And I'm currently doing my master's as well, so I'm also now a student at the School of Public Health at um, Lego, University of Ghana, Lego. So that's me in a nutshell. Well, first of all, you know, there are a few women that are doctors, okay? Um, simply put, you know, usually women are more focused on family life, so you want to marry, have children and all that. And medicine is quite um, intense. You know, it's a six-year course, first of all. And then you have to also specialize and, you know, go up and all that. So a lot of women don't get that chance to go that far the way they would like to, or the, the way they would, they would want to. And that's why we have very few female surgeons, because it's about six years to train. And I mean, most women can't train, for, wouldn't have that time to train for that long, because they're having busy making babies and killing their families and all that. So I think, um, even though it's a job where there are more men than women, um, it makes it a bit challenging in the sense that um, as a woman, you'd have to, to um, work hard to also be able to make it and then come out as well to get to the top. Um, you can be doing ward rounds and then a patient will call you Auntie Ness, you know, even though you are wearing your lab coat, your stethoscope and all that, simply because she thinks that once you're a woman, you're actually a, a nurse, not a doctor. And then they rather call like a male nurse the doctor, even though he's wearing his, you know, the scrubs and all that. So. I mean, those are a few challenges that we get. Um, so I think probably more education and advocacy, you know, um, you guys and the media, you know, what, whatever you show, people are watching. If you maybe can show roles, maybe in a movie or something, um, give the roles to women, so that women will be playing the roles of doctors and lawyers and engineers. It's not always that a male has to be a doctor in a movie, you know, and wear a lab coat and a stethoscope. Women can do it, and people will be like, hey, okay, a woman is also... You know, she's also a doctor, she can also do it, she's on TV wearing the lab coat and all that. So let people be aware that um, females can also be, be doctors, they can also be engineers, they can also be lawyers, they can also be scientists and all that. It's not just for men. So I think by, by um, if the media shows that aspect and that side, hopefully it will catch on and people get to realize that, yes, indeed. We have um, roles that women can play as well. So young women out there, um, first of all, I'll say you should stay focused. Um, don't look at what anybody is doing. Uh, life is not a race. Okay, the same way six plus four will be ten, five plus five will be ten, seven plus two will be ten. You see that they're all different numbers, but you still get ten. Doesn't matter how you add it up. Okay, we're all going different, um, going through different pathways in life. But at the end of the day, you still reach the same destination. So just be focused, be determined know what you want to do in life and if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask a lot of um, people that um, mentor young girls and all that so don't be afraid to ask someone that you think is is excelling so well in their career path that you just want to do someday you know don't be afraid to ask for help okay and the God factor is very very important as well um, don't forget to pray and let God guide you and then encourage you um, and lead you to a successful path so that you can make it and become what you want to be and what you are destined to be. I, Dr. Erajo Ahimanunu, I choose to challenge.